As part of its monthly intervention series, the African Leadership Group has asked Nigerians to actively engage their leaders by demanding accountability in governance. The host pastor, Itua Igodalo, and other speakers highlighted many challenges impeding development and proper solutions. Plus TV Africa senior correspondent, Kayode Lendi, reports. Different interventions ranging from constitutional framework, youth and women participation in governance and politics are highlighted by the speakers. In his remark, Yemi Kandi Johnson, a senior advocate of Nigeria, argues that the constitution is tilted to enthrone corruption and autocracy. If you maintain a system which per perpetrates injustice, which sponsors corruption, which is unaccountable to the people because of its distance from them and its understanding from them, and this is the arrangement we have in Nigeria. And the creation of our constitutional arrangement, in my opinion today, is that it has been organized to sanction kleptocracy, incompetence, corruption, and in many regards, outright theft. Reeling out what he described as unjust statistics, Farouk Abbas says youth must be consciously engrafted into governance if real change must occur. Likewise, Aisha via Zoom hinted on the important role of women. Nigeria, we can say, is not a society based on justice. If you look at the um, statistics of voters registration in Nigeria, you find that voters below 35 years old constitute 51 percentage of the total voters in Nigeria. And voters below 50, if you add the voters below 50 and the voters below 35 years old, it gives us a total of 81 percent of the voters in Nigeria. Then when you look at the leadership structure in Nigeria, both at the National Assembly and at the, uh, at the executive level, governors and local government chairman, you see that the percentage of um, leadership, if you look at 18 to 35, they are almost non-represented. They are almost non-represented. So when you have the bulk of your population not participating in governance or in leadership, you are bound to have problems. Women have to be seen as equals. Women have to be taken and taken along in all decision making um, at all levels, right from the executive down there. We need more women in governments, we need more governors, we need more in the members of women, we need more women presidents, vice presidents, more ministers. And decision making is critical. In his intervention, the host and senior pastor of Trinity House, Itua Igodalo, accuses the president of docility in addressing the security challenges. Let me say it bold, loud and clear. The problem of insecurity in Nigeria lies on the table of Muhammad Buhari. If Muhammad Buhari is ready today to stop all this insecurity, he has the power, he has the ability and he knows what to do. You can read my lips. He knows what to do. The reason why he's not doing it, I don't really understand. He complained that the government in power is not taking advantage of technology and fighting insecurity. How can you capture 257 girls and we don't know where they are? It's not possible in this day and age with technology and everything. Do you know the amount of effort it takes to move 250 people across a certain place and nobody saw them and you can't find them and they disappear? And they say this girl, Leah Sharibu, she's captured, she's having babies every year and you can't find her. What does that mean? What nonsense is that? Social commentators say this should not be treated as a mere talk show. Rather, deliberate steps must be taken to address issues raised. Kaya de Lade in the Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.